I want to close out with this one. And I will go ahead and pull it up on the screen for everybody. Chris, uh, the tweet says, Justice is not particularly blind. For example, when the Louisiana State University football team loses in an upset, it causes judges in Louisiana to add 1,296 days of punishment to juvenile defendants, including 136 extra days of jail time just because judges are in a bad mood. Have you seen this? The, the guy's name is Ethan Mollick. He's a professor, uh, professor at Wharton that uh, is studying innovation and entrepreneurship and ephemeria. Um, it, it's a very interesting study, what he has, has done. And I don't think it should be super surprising to anybody, but he went through and made graphs and everything else, um, basically about the judges in Louisiana and basically, they're giving harsher sentences after an LSU upset loss, like when they're not expected to lose. When they do lose to somebody they're not supposed to, the the sentencing is is more harsh. I'm curious your thoughts on this. I don't think it's just an LSU thing. This is just the the study that he did. But when I saw it, I immediately thought of you and thought, yeah. huh, like that's this this does make sense to me. Well. It, it, this is this is one of the many, 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 many huge flaws in our justice system. That that is just a problem. That judges who have a biases towards someone or um, a liking towards someone else can can give a harsher or lesser punishment. That is not justice. That is not balance. That is not fair. Um, and and it's just you just yeah. Depending on what you had for lunch. Or did you find your wife cheating on you the night before? Or did your football team lose a game the weekend before? All of a sudden now affects the life of someone else. Yeah, I've got I've got massive, massive problems with that. But it all stems around the fact, and then now we're going to get political at some point, but that it all stems around the absolute corruption and flaws in our justice system that are disgusting and broken. I was a criminal justice major. There's a reason I didn't go into law enforcement. At any time, not, it's not that I was fat and I want to be a cop. I would have been the worst cop you'd ever know. <laughs> but, like, I, I just, I, I can't, I can't handle it. I just, I, I, I would put a target on myself and then I wouldn't have made it very long. But Because I just can't handle, it, and it's bad rules. It, you're yeah. asking humans, you're asking humans to set aside their humanness, all of their flaws, and all of their personal issues, and make decisions on other people's lives. I don't, I don't, I, you know, I just don't handle that very well at all. I think it just goes to prove, you know, it, there are a lot of jobs, a lot of companies that require you to leave your personal life at home once you come into work, and I don't, I yeah, don't think it's that they easy. they all ask you to do that. Right, it's not as easy. They don't, there's nothing you could do about it, right? Right. But if, Steve Jobs went into work one day pissed off because he found his wife railing some other guy. Like that, that doesn't like the iPhone's not going to suck. All right, everybody's iPhone's not going to break, or somebody there's probably not going to get fired because we have hiring laws to protect them from Agreed. like wrongful termination and stuff. So, so yeah, like you're not going to ruin someone's life because you have a bad day. Alabama loses, you're not going to go to the University of Memphis and ruin someone's life with your shitty job. Agreed. Right? I could do a bad job at my job, and I could really screw up something at work. But I'm not going to ruin someone's life. It's just going to be a lot more work for me fixing it. Exactly. It actually ruins people's lives, but they don't give a shit because the people coming through their courts, most people don't care about. Yeah, it's it's a shame. Uh, but I am glad that somebody, you know, went through. And yeah. and actually, you know, studied it. Uh, his well, follow up Louisiana, tweet. Listen, let's let's not get this wrong, okay? Louisiana is is kind of in the conversation with one of the most corrupt states in the country. Oh, most how things like how business is done. I mean, right? dating all the way From back to Huey Long. Standpoint. Yeah, all that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the, so the, the follow up tweet here surprised me at all. Uh, the follow up tweet said judges with degrees from the losing school were especially harsh in uh, sentencing the next day. And, uh, and it said, in answer to the question uh, in the thread, it's not a correlational paper. It shows a casual relationship between judges' mood and sentencing. Uh, 
Yep. And then he goes through You can go through and read it. Uh, the guy's name, again, Ethan Mollick. You can follow him on Twitter at E-M-O-L-L-I-C-K. Uh, really interesting stuff. I mean, it's it's a really interesting. I, I tweeted it out. You can find it over at, uh, at Gary WCE. But, uh, but it's, it's very interesting the way that he looked into this. Because, uh, it, I mean, it goes pretty deep, and it goes over years and years, and it, it's not gotten better. I, I will certainly say that. So, you know, it's, uh, it's interesting. Interesting stuff, my friend. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.